One big Hollywood Babylon. All right, I'm going to get serious. I got to have some fun here when we got this situation going on with uh, the Ukraine. And the big news story is headline, racist Clippers owner Donald Sterling is a Democrat. Thank God they can't blame me. Thank God they can't blame Clive and Bundy. Thank God they can't blame the Second Amendment. I am just so sick and tired of the drama queening of people being secretly recorded, whether it's Mel Gibson or whether it's Donald Sterling. Since when do people not get upset about people secretly recording people? The NSA doing it is criminal and makes me mad. Government doing it, uh, corporations doing it, individuals doing it. I mean, the rat is the issue. And by the way, I don't get on the phone and have conversations like this. What I believe is on the radio. In fact, I get more extreme on the radio than I do in person. Everybody can vouch for that. I mean, I really say what I believe here. I'm into telling you what I really stand for. But you know what? A lot of people aren't like that. They want to have private phone conversations. They want to have private conversations at dinner. There's this whole movement now for people to record folks and record famous people when they're at a restaurant or something. And then put it on the internet. I mean, I'm, I'm getting tired of it personally. Getting real tired of it. But we're going to talk about that later in the next hour. Tie it into your power prices uh, set to double. They're already doubled many areas because they're cutting off the power plants. See, that's the real discrimination. That I've got to pay. The average American owes over a million dollars to pay off the globalist derivatives that aren't even our debt. You'll never pay it off. I'll never pay it off. The country's screwed. We should write off all this debt, get rid of it. But it's not happening. All right, shifting gears back to Ukraine. I'm going to take calls to the bottom of the next hour. Then I'll get into all these other stories and play a clip of Donald Sterling and the great evil that's all over the news. And uh, he's obviously being set up. It's obviously edited. That's all coming up. Uh, we're going to get into a major police magazine saying warrants. We don't need no stinking warrants. Uh, and a lot more coming up here today. Some of the news up on Infowars.com. Again, Obama, Sharpton, Magic Johnson, gang up on NBA owner Sterling. And we've got another story. I'll mention this briefly later, but I've kind of cooled off now. Judas Goat, Glenn Beck, colludes with CIA and CFR to take down Patriot Movement. Look, I have nothing against Glenn Beck. He does a lot of good work. I'm sick of him lying about me. And for my own family's safety, because when you tell 10 million listeners or whatever that Alex Jones wants violent overthrow... And Alex Jones is covering up Clive and Bundy's racist statements with no evidence. That's MSNBC saying I'm, quote, deeply racist and want, want to blow up stuff and kill cops. No one that listens to my show would say that. I'm totally against offensive violence. And, I, it, I mean, it's crazy when you hear MSNBC say, quote, Alex Jones is behind the Boston bombing, close quote, and Alex Jones is deeply racist. But MSNBC has a half million viewers that are dumber than a box of rocks. Glenn Beck's got a lot of good people listening to him, and he's on, I was looking it up. I mean, it's got to be half the affiliates that carry us have got Glenn Beck on there. I don't want to fight with him. He's attacking me on many of these same stations, and it, it, it's just, he's getting sued by a bunch of people and stuff. I mean, Glenn, if you come out and apologize or tell us you're on medication, I forgive you. I'm serious. I mean, when you start making stuff up, Knock on wood, I've never been sued. A couple times over copyright claims, and then we just filed some stuff, and it got beat because it was fake. But I've never been sued for defamation, slander, libel, because I really try to not make stuff up about people. Most radio stations have been sued and lost lawsuits. That's why they have such huge insurance. That's why talk radio has been dumped a lot of places, especially local hosts. They will get you in trouble every time. Not me. Not me. As radical as I sound, I don't just get up here and say, this guy's deeply racist and he wants to kill cops. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, if I say that the, you know, such and such says this, I will play a clip or show where someone else said it. And I tell my reporters, I got seven reporters and five other writers, I guess six other writers, and I sit them down and I talk to them and I say, listen, You ever say something on purpose that didn't write or try to hurt somebody for no reason? You're not just going to be liable. I'm going to be liable. And I'm not just going to be liable. You're going to be liable. And you'll probably never get a job again in media because you say things about people that aren't true on purpose.
Because the rule is if you say something on purpose and then you admit it's on purpose and you say this guy shouldn't be listened to, this guy shouldn't be on the air, that's malice of forethought with intent to do harm. I mean, that's the definition of libel if it's in print, slander if it's verbal, defamation if it's a broadcast or both. And that's the definition of what's going on here. He shouldn't be on the radio. You shouldn't listen to him. Uh, he's covering up for racist Clavin Bundy, which I don't think Clavin Bundy's a racist out of context. Uh, you know, that whole ranch situation out in Nevada. Uh, he wants a violent overthrow. He's the leader of the violence. I mean, man, that can really hurt me. I mean, if I get set up or something happens to my family, then you really are cooked. And and I know you write letters to people, you know, that you crap money and all this stuff. And you can, you can you know, deal with stuff fine. But you get enough lawsuits going, bro, it's not going to go well. Look, I didn't sue MSNBC last year when they said I'm behind the Boston bombing and deeply racist. Yeah, I say that. It sounds like a lie. It's so crazy. We played the clip here. You can look it up on YouTube. And then they showed no proof. And I talked to my lawyer. My lawyer said, hands down, jury trial, you'll win this. A million dollars in two years. And you'll probably win two or three million dollars. Do you want to do that for two or three million dollars? And I said, no. No, I don't have the time. Do you want to be deposed? Do you want to have to do all this? I said, no, just let them say it. So, Beck, I, I mean, you know, Glenn Beck can make jokes and say I'm gay, and then I have sex with men in showers. He said that. I mean, no one believes that's ridiculous. It hasn't hurt me, so fine. Go ahead and say it. You can say that I'm racist covering up for Clive and Bundy, and then I lead the violence movement. That can really hurt me. So that I'm done talking about Beck. I'm going to go to your phone calls when we start. Not even the next hour. I'm going to go to him right now. Hassan in Holland wants to talk about the Ukraine situation. Frank in New York. John in Wisconsin. Mark in Oregon. You know, what happens is I say we're only opening the phones up for military. Former military has been in Ukraine for your take. Or folks overseas. And then only the regular callers call. That, 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 you know, that's how that works. We have wide open phones now specifically on Ukraine, okay? And we do have some calls from Europe as well, but the number is 877-789-2539 to join us. But I don't want to get off into Glenn Beck now. It's just that I had to cover that because we've got a video showing how I said the same stuff he says word for word 10, 15 years before him. Uh, and we've got him saying Ron Paul should be locked up because he wants to blow up buildings with a money bomb, trying to make his listeners think a money bomb means bombs. Uh, and just a bunch of stuff, just, just to counter and protect ourselves. So that's up on Infowars.com. But I'm done talking about it. And turnabout's fair play. I didn't start this. He's the one trying to kick me off the radio. He's the one trying to tell his audience not to support me. He's the one attacking me and my family and my name. And um, I'm just sad because I'm friends with World Net Daily. Uh, I, I, you know, I work with the other libertarian conservative sites because I have a lot more in common with them than I do the Democrats. And, and, and I just don't want to have the liberty movement fighting with ourselves. Obama has them on television announcing your kids don't belong to you. Two plus two equals five, Common Core. We are on the edge of war with Russia. If they move troops in any day, if NATO strikes back and attacks, then the Russians may fire nukes at NATO bases. They've said they will. That's World War III. I mean, I'm not saying that's going to happen. It could happen. And it's mainstream news is saying it could happen. We've got economic problems. We've got societal degradation. We've got all these serious problems. And I want to work with everybody that believes in basic private property, basic family values, basic right to self-defense, basic national sovereignty, and basic common sense of don't start wars first, don't back Al-Qaeda, don't invade countries. I just stand for common sense. I just stand for justice. I love America. I love freedom. I love my children. I want to have a future, and I know you do as well. We'll be right back with the second hour of your phone call. Stay with us. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.